Here's the thing. With Helene, the storm could have went to St. Mark's. It could have went to Perry. And it didn't make that much of a difference in terms of the surge. But here, if it hits St. Pete Beach, there's 15 feet of water in the bay. If it hits Longbow Key, 15, 20 miles south of there, there's not much of any water in the bay. And so it is a stark difference. And uh, it's really hard to pinpoint. And just to, think about this, JB. We're going to have the wobble tracker live tomorrow. Yep. If it wobbles, it will it will change 20 miles. Is this the most consequential storm for the wobble tracker? I think so. I, I really, really do because people are going to be watching. You're going to have to watch the wobble tracker up until the storm is like 20 miles offshore because if it, we've, see, we've seen, JB, storms wobble 20 miles easily a few times in their track for like Hurricane Helene. Um, so if you picture a storm that's about to, we think, make landfall in Anna Maria Island, then all of a sudden it wobbles just 20 miles north. Now all of a sudden it's coming into St. Pete Beach or Madeira Beach. So we're, we'll have the wobble tracker up and live for you on the website tomorrow. And then this is something we're going to need to track like minute by minute uh, as we as the storm approaches the coast. I really, really think so. That's